What are the three most common myths that I've seen in the real estate industry? You know, I've been at the real estate game since 2007, and I started Real Estate Business School in 2013 and helped hundreds of clients across the country in all sorts of markets go from struggling, grinding, you know, just, uh, just effort to sell homes to a more elegant uh, approach, you know, and getting away from the blood and guts and this elegance and ease approach. Number one is the fact that we think the business has to all be generated by ourselves. that we really are that important that nobody else will work with us, right? So that's the, the, the first thing is that we have to be able to envision a world where the business provides the services and it's not us. Do you have a plan to get out of working with buyers or do you, and they look at me like, how, what do you, how could you possibly not work with buyers? You know, like that's just like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And so that's the, the, the number one myth is that you have to be the one working with all the business. The second myth that I love to bust is this, you know, traditional success requires that we work evenings and weekends. Every traditionally successful agent and most traditional coaching programs will teach you how to do more homes. They won't tell you how to work less hours. The motivation is money and deals and ego versus like, how do I do the job of a real estate agent, make the kind of money I wanna make, but not have to work evenings and weekends and not have to endure the stress that, that comes along with selling a lot of real estate without any boundaries. It's okay to have standards around your time. Think of the best attorney in your market or the best heart surgeon in your market or the best whatever. Do you think you have free access to that person anytime you want? Zero chance, zero chance. Do you think there's a process to book an appointment with the best surgeon in your market? Let's say you're having heart issues and you wanna see the best of the best. Chances are you'll travel whatever distance is required. You'll take whatever appointment they have available. You'll answer whatever questionnaire they send you ahead of time. You're gonna do the things that they tell you to do because you're meeting with somebody that has standards and they played that game at a high level. So why is it as real estate agents, we have no standards for our time? So even if you're not going to build a real estate team to give you the leverage to not work with buyers evenings and weekends, what about just coming up with hours and standards with your time? And what about creating a system for showing homes and hiring a showing agent to show homes for you? Getting out of working evenings and weekends is not as challenging as we make it out to be. What, what about in your buyer consultation process, your buyer packets and your listing packets? What if you had a one page agreement with the standards of engagement, your rules of engagement? In order to work with the best, here's the rules we're gonna follow. They'll respect you more and you'll earn more referral business because you're showing up as a pro and not an amateur. You think your client respects you when you're texting them 9.30 on a Friday night when you're watching TV with your spouse or you should be spending time with your children at night, I promise you it lowers your credibility with your clients. The third myth that I love to bust is the myth around paying for leads. You know, every top agent and every team I see, you know, I come in and I look at their business and I look at where they're spending their money, where their business is coming from, every one of those top agents and team leaders are spending money on lead sources. And that may even sound like a little bit weird to you, but like where else are you gonna get leads? Giving someone else money to generate a lead for you. That just means that you're a crappy marketer. That means that you have bought into the lie that the industry is telling us that Zillow is the place you go to for leads. Realtor.com is the place you go to for leads, right? We got out of paying for leads years ago. And we never even bought into like going to 10, 15, 20,000 a month. We just weren't willing to play that game. So where are you getting your leads? Are you becoming a, like a high level marketer? What are the things that we can do to, to generate new business, new leads, new opportunities to call people without having to spend money to do it? And that's a, that's a big challenge. We have eight lead gen levers in Real Estate B-School. There's effort, there, you know, there's maybe learning something, put, you know, installing a new capability or installing a system in your business. There's not a whole lot of money involved in our Expire program, our FISBO program, our yard marketing, open houses, 
our database social proof as a lead gen lever, client care as a lead gen lever, right? So are you just giving money to realtor.com and Zillow or Google pay-per-click? You need to figure out how to generate higher quality leads without spending money to have someone force register on your website, right? Just shift your mindset on becoming a high level marketer. What's one thing you can put out there that's so valuable that someone's willing to give you their information to get that thing. And just, just think about what could you give a seller that's considering selling their home or inspired that came off the market or for sale by owner or in a neighborhood where you take a listing, right? How could you compel neighbors to, to think that you may be the agent that they list with when they put their home on the market in the coming months, right? There's all these systems we can put into place to make sure that you're going to be the top agent and not just the top person spending the most amount of money. Don't play the game the industry wants us to play. If you think Zillow is our friend, you are sorely mistaken. Go down the path of learning how to become a marketer. And that's my advice to you. So if some of this stuff has your brain turning and you want to spend a little bit more time with me in an environment where I'm going to push you, I'm going to coach you, I'm going to train you, I'm going to challenge you to grow your business without giving your profit away, without giving your life away, join us in our next challenge. Go to rebschallenge.com. That's rebschallenge.com. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications and also leave us comments. You know, this uh, journey uh, that I talk about, I'm obsessed with this agent to owner journey and uh, like what it takes to do it the right way. It's not the easiest path. I would argue at the end of the day, beginning with the end in mind and envisioning a business that runs more like a business and less like you grinding it out every day is the 100% way to go. We'll see you in the next video.